So since the last update, starting from Skidby and heading down towards the Zats, what we've been concentrating on is installing the new highway drainage. We've also removed the old pedestrian splitter island at Skidby and replaced it with the new one, uh, which is much larger. And we've also been preparing the topsoil this is to allow us to continue the planting and installing grass seed. And continuing north from Lazatz through to the Bentley Diverge, we have just been concentrating on installing the new highway drainage. Heading north towards the, the new bridge, we have been continuing with the installation of new highway drainage. We have also been removing some of the old A164 to allow the new road to tie in and we've also been continuing works on the highway under the bridge. So moving on to the A1079, onto the northeast cloverleaf, the old slip road there, you'll see that we've now been able to completely remove it and we have filled it back in uh, to reinstate the highway embankment. And moving on to the southwest cloverleaf, uh, we have now installed the new highway drainage in front along the A1079 and we have removed all the old drainage and the highway from the cloverleaf in preparation for us to infill that in the coming weeks. So continuing north from the Jocks Lodge Bridge towards Victoria Roundabout on the old A164, we have been continuing to infill the widening uh, on the new highway, also installed the new carrier drain as well. And as always, if you are interested in keeping up to date with the scheme, uh, you can go onto the website on the a164jockslodge.co.uk or sign up to our newsletter which comes out every month.